doing well. I just finished editing my August vlog and I didn't record any sort of intro, so I thought I would now. Just having a glass of wine, an evening to myself. This vlog's an interesting one. I'm definitely kind of all over the place, which you'll see as the video goes on. But I wanted to come on and say hello to some new subscribers I've been getting. To be completely transparent, I haven't grown on YouTube in several years now. My subscriber level, I've still been gaining subscribers, but I've also been losing a lot of subscribers. I mean, I've been on YouTube for like 12 years now, so it makes complete sense. But suddenly lately I've been getting an influx of new followers. I don't know if it's the renovation content or what exactly it is. I would love to know where you guys are coming from because I haven't been able to like find a clear video that you're coming from. Maybe I'm just in the algorithm again, but I wanted to say hi. Thank you for subscribing. I hope you're enjoying the content. We keep things pretty casual around here and I like my vlogs to just feel like you're having a chat with a friend. I love to just share simple and beautiful moments from life. Food, fashion, interiors, nature, animals, all of it. Also, if you're in a weekend hibernation, online shopping kind of mood, I recently updated my website with all new curations and various categories. A lot of stuff on there. I have so much fun putting those together and I update them pretty frequently. Also, I know I said this last month, but this vlog is not very renovation heavy. I have a whole separate video, maybe two videos coming soon that are more renovation and house related. I've just been waiting for the exterior to get completed. Pretty much done for now, at least. There still needs to be some touch-ups, but I think we probably won't do anything else to the outside until next year. So that video is coming soon. This video, you just get to see some moments from everyday life. So I wanted to start this vlog by sharing some new pieces I just got in. Some of these pieces are gifted, some are even loaned, which I'm gonna share with you. Some are also very budget friendly, so I thought that would be fun to share. I always wanna be incredibly transparent about anything that I got gifted or any brands that I'm working with, just cause I think your guys' trust is so important. I really only show things that I like, but it does make a difference. Like, I think people are lying when they say it doesn't make a difference. I just got these shoes in from Everlane and I am obsessed. They gifted me some new pieces with no obligation to post. And these are their Puffa clogs. They have them in a couple different colors. They have them in a color that's similar to this. And I think a cream and then the black. These are so comfortable, you guys. I've been wearing them so much. I thought I'd have to at least like break them in. I always love clogs on people, but just when I see them, generally I don't think they look comfy, but these are. And if you've been looking for a shoe like this, you need these. They also have ones that have a bit less of a heel. I'm gonna have everything that I mentioned linked below. I've been wearing these so much since I got them in the mail. I also am so looking forward to fall and winter. Picked out this lovely camel colored sweater. I love Everlane sweaters and it's a half zip, super soft, not itchy at all. I'm really picky with my sweaters. I love their alpaca wool sweaters as well. I actually recently did a curation on my website. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know I always do those where only budget-friendly pieces. I try to stay away from fast fashion as much as possible or at least pick better companies. But I think there's some really lovely pieces in that curation if you want to check it out. They're all pretty like basic. But I definitely paid attention to fabric quality because I want to make sure that I'm recommending nice pieces for you guys. And I also just got a lovely gifting package from Target. I'm wearing a top right now. They did a collaboration with Reese Bloodstein. I don't know if you guys follow her on Instagram, a lot of you probably do. Her handle's Double Exposure, and she just did a design collaboration with them. And I'm genuinely so impressed with the quality of the pieces. I will also have these linked below. I've been wearing this striped top so much. It's just like a striped Oxford. I'll show it to you. It's a bit wrinkled right now, but colors are perfect. And they sent a couple of these sweetheart neckline tops. Again, such a beautiful color. I think these are like $20. You're in the market for some super affordable pieces. I would recommend these. They really feel like they're gonna last. Usually in this price range, I would always recommend thrifting. I think it's so cool that you can get such chic styles at Target. And there are a lot of other really great pieces in the collection as well. And I'm so happy for her in that collaboration. Okay, this is on a totally different level. I got the craziest two packages the other day from brand clients that I just can't believe that they know who I am, basically. First one, 
It's from Aesop. They just came out with these bar soaps. They're really trying to move more in like a low waist direction. And then these items are loaned. So I'm working with Rebag on Instagram this month, which is definitely a dream client. It fits into the sustainability sphere so well. They have such an amazing selection of designer and luxury goods. I haven't purchased anything from them before, but I have sold a bag there before. They have a really lovely process for that. Basically, I got to pick out a few items that I could use for shooting content for them. And I have never had a Chanel bag in my possession. I don't think I've ever touched one before. And look at this one that I get to have for the month. It is this beautiful patent leather flat bag. And I can't lie, it does feel very nice. And I really enjoy carrying it. I've never had like a super nice designer bag. I also haven't had that much of a desire. I feel like I'd rather spend my money on like home stuff if I'm choosing a material item. This is really beautiful. I definitely have had a Chanel reissue on my like dream bag wish list forever. I don't know if you guys are familiar with those. They basically just don't have the CC logo and they're a reissue of their vintage styles. One of my obligations for working with them was creating a curation of all my favorite styles that are currently on their site. They're doing a Labor Day sale where it's 15% off. So if you guys have your eye on any designer item and you've been looking for it secondhand, I would definitely recommend checking there. They also offer returns, which is really great. I know like on sites such as The Real Real, they don't allow returns at all in their handbags. And if you can't see something in person and you're spending a lot of money, you probably don't want to do that. I also got to pick out this vintage Bottega bag and this beautiful chocolate brown color. It's also been kind of a dream bag, but something that I probably wouldn't buy for myself. So it's been so fun to have it in my possession for the month. And then they also sent over an Hermes belt in a similar color to the Bottega bag, but it's packed away right now. So you guys will see my content for that soon. And definitely check out that curation if you're in the market for any designer items. I also put a lot of like vintage bags and maybe bags that you haven't seen before that I think a lot of you guys would like in there. This is a sneaker I purchased. I've had my eye on these for a while. I always see them on Pinterest. I kind of can't believe I went with the yellow color, but it kind of reminded me you guys know my green Prada loafers that I've had for years and I've found that they fit into my style so well even when I'm wearing mostly neutral colors so I kind of thought the same thing about the sneaker and I went with the yellow and black instead of black and white they're also the Kill Bill sneakers kind of iconic just fell up the stairs getting a delivery <laughs> not fully I caught myself but I literally chipped my toenail polish off but I've actually been getting so much wear out of these. They are kind of hard to find, like so many sneakers, but I see them secondhand a good bit. So definitely check Depop if you're in the market and if I find them, I will link them for you guys. Good morning, I just got ready. I am about to head to the farmer's market. My friend Charlotte's coming over and we're just gonna have a bit of a girl's day walking around Williamsburg and Greenpoint. We wanna go pick up pastries and bread from one of our favorite bakeries in Williamsburg. It's called Nick and Sons. You guys have to check it out if you're in the area it's like a very hole in the wall kind of shop everything they make is incredible there's a new coffee shop i want to check out some vintage furniture stores I'm not really trying to do any shopping at the moment but i just want to check out some new places hi Here's my outfit today. All right, I'm wearing a Yankees cap, a darkling Seren little vest, my Issey Miyake pleats please dress, with some MM6 flats, and my Staatsbilla trail offerings necklace, plus a little tote for the farmer's market. light fixture you envision for right here there's also another light in the hallway to the left of it we already have these in our bedroom and living room i still need to put the smoke alarm up there 
but I really want to change out these light fixtures. I'm just not exactly sure what I should do, if it should be a flush mount, maybe a semi-flush mount. I don't think it can be that long, although it is high ceilings in here. If you have any ideas, definitely let me know. extra weird since I started this vlog. I didn't mention it, but I feel like I kind of have to because I just feel like I'm going to be acting off. But basically, for the past, I don't know, probably six months, I have been considering going off my Zoloft medication for depression and anxiety. I've been on it for about two years. I do firmly believe it changed my life for the better, but I also have side effects from it and I feel like I've been in a good place so I really have wanted to try going off of it so I started weaning over the weekend and the doctor put me on half my dose to start and I'm just feeling pretty weird I don't know if any of you guys have experience with SSRIs like I said I'm on Zoloft and I remember I felt pretty weird when I started it too but I'm just a ball of energy but not necessarily like the best kind of energy Times felt like it's going really slow for me. I also was very interested in the pepperoni. Are you a good boy? Gentle. Usually I think I would really enjoy time feeling like it's moving slowly, but I haven't been able to focus on anything. So I have all of this energy to get out, but I'm struggling to work, I'm struggling to watch anything, I'm struggling to read, and a single day has felt like three or four days in one. So I'm really hoping this is kind of the worst of it. I haven't really had any other like physical symptoms. I've been trying to keep myself busy. I've had a lot of social plans, I'm going on lots of walks. I've just been cooking a lot. I've been trying not to drink much alcohol. Although I did just pour myself a glass of wine because I'm hoping it can in some weird way help me focus more and just like calm me down a little bit. I would love to hear from you guys if you have any experience going off medication. If you have any tips for me by the time this video goes live i'm probably through the worst of it and hopefully i'll be able to stay off of it I'm definitely feeling weird <laughs> more what i find interesting because i feel like that's always just the best place to be even though it's not going to be for ev it's the next day since my chat with you guys about what's been going on lately i'm trying to make myself be a little bit more chill today. I usually don't work from bed, but I've started here working from bed. I also got a little walk this morning and I have a bunch of stuff I need to send in to our accountant for my business, Shots Ballet, this morning. And today's the deadline for it, so I have to make myself do this. I am still having caffeine to hopefully help me focus, but I'm just trying to keep my restless energy to a minimum. I hope this vlog isn't too annoying for you guys. This is my attempt at recreating the Cafe Mogador's spicy carrots. Can't say I completely succeeded. I didn't have harissa, which didn't help, so I just subbed sriracha in and think maybe with some harissa it would be really good. I'll link the recipe that I used below. If you're in New York, it's such a lovely lunch brunch spot. So I just have some hummus, a poached an egg, the carrots with some salt and pepper. Test. Oh no, is it hard? Oh no, good. Good, good, good. This is editing Kaylee coming to you. I just wanted to tell you guys about this night in the vlog. I didn't get anything filmed at all. I feel like any time that I go out and I'm having a fun time, I don't touch my phone at all, which is probably how it should be. But this evening I had a friend from college visiting the same friend that I just went to Quebec with in the last vlog that you guys saw. She was in New York visiting. 
and we just went out with like our old group of college friends. We're all still friends, but not everyone lives here anymore. And it was just such a lovely time. We went to a couple different bars and we went out to Green Point Fish for food. I definitely had too much to drink when I wasn't planning on drinking because of my medication situation that we've already touched on. We went to our friend's apartment in Bushwick, and then we went to Cherry on Top, which is a really cute bar. Excuse Lazlo chomping in the background. And then we went to Greenpoint Fish for food, and then we went out to Hotel Del Mano in Williamsburg, which is just another bar. It's actually where Siggy and I had our first date, and I think it is totally a date spot, but it's fun for a girls' night too. I really like to sprinkle in like New York spots in these vlogs, just in case you guys are visiting. That's a frequent question I get. So those are some fun spots for like a chic kind of in between, not too casual, not too fancy night out in Brooklyn. just made myself a matcha spritz and I am off to run some errands. I'm also gonna go pick up a pot that I found on Facebook Marketplace. I'm deciding how I'm gonna get there because I can walk over the Williamsburg Bridge and get there quite easily, but it is gonna take like an hour. But I need to work out today, so maybe that's my workout, we'll see. I've been still really trying to make our roof terrace upstairs look really beautiful, just Everything's so expensive for the landscaping. So I've been trying to find some stuff on Facebook Marketplace and I found a pretty big pot for $20. So we're gonna head out now. The guy I bought the pot from had so many of these large plants in his apartment and I complimented them. He cut some off for me to propagate myself. He was telling me that his girlfriend brought this plant back from Nicaragua like two decades ago, which is kind of crazy. So we'll see how these go. And here's our new pot. She's definitely worn in. This one's started to flower so much, which is lovely. These fully died when I left to go upstate one week, but now there's new growth on them again. Like the tree was done, I thought. But look at all those leaves. It's gonna come back. Mm. Who are you yelling at? Finding all these wild berries along our property now. Just so sweet. I'm picking some flowers for a bouquet. At the moment I need to style out one of our rooms because I'm working with a rug company and I need to shoot that today. That's a gay, huh? That's where the term mocking is. 